What's good guys? This is your boy Kid Jimmy, yours truly. I know it's been a while since I did a video. Um, over the years since I've been producing, a lot of people have been asking me about doing tutorial videos or lesson videos. Pretty much just asking me like, how do I make my beats and stuff? And I feel like it's time for me to finally show you guys, you know, or at least try to help you guys in some way. One thing I know is a lot of people use a lot of different types of uh, DAWs. Um, as you can see on the screen here, I, I use Pro Tools. So I just want to give you guys the basics. Um, what, so um, what I'm going to show you guys, if you do use Pro Tools, maybe a lot of this will help you. But if you do Logic or if you do Free Loops, just the basics of building a beat. Like, I feel like this video will at least help you guys with that. If you guys have any questions or, or whatever after this video, like, I'm, I, I need feedback pretty much right now. So, step one when I first go into a beat is having a template. And as you can see on the screen here, it's, it's a template that I have of a pretty much a, a, a pretty much a trap beat basically and I have different templates for like 90s type beats or, or like a Dre type beat or whatever type beat I go into but it's just good in general to have just a template just something where you have like if you can see here like I already have my bass and all that ready like my, my snares my kicks so I'm pretty much ready to go and I, I recommend that for anybody out there like I said so step one is have a template ready. Step two would be to, well, it's different for a lot of producers. I usually start out with melody when it comes to making beats. Like I'm a, I'm a very melodic person. I like playing, you know, playing it on the keys and stuff and trying to figure out a melody. But I mean, sometimes the vibe is different. Sometimes I'll do melodies, but sometimes I'll start out with drums or kick. It just really depends on the idea. But um, for this sake of this video, let me just start out with a melody. Like I said, I got all my, my, my templates set up like with the snap, you know, different synths and stuff. So like I said, step one, have a template, whatever dog you're using, have a template ready. I'm, I'm gonna try to come up with a melody. Like I'm making this beat on the spot. You know, I wanted to make this video as genuine as possible. So I'm gonna make this shit on the spot and see how quick I can do it, you know. I like doing is figuring out the, the tempo that's the first thing and then once I could do that I could figure out timing and a lot of it's just going off the vibe um, so next thing will probably be I'm gonna try to add some snares and drums to it and try to figure out a drum pattern like we got a basic When, when, when I'm just trying to figure out drums and stuff, I'll do it, uh, you know, off of the midis. But once I get a basic idea, like I said, I like doing it manually. That's just me. I mean, you don't have to do that. But, I mean, that's just what I prefer to do. Just because I'm really doing Like, I, I want to make sure everything's on time. Everything's perfect, you know. And like I said, if, you, if you're someone who's using Logic or, or, or Fruity Loops, and this just looks like, what the fuck? I mean, like I said, you can apply the basics still. You can apply the basics of making a beat, like doing the melody and the drums and everything else. So we already got cotton. We got a little. Usually, like, I start out with this kick and snare just to, like, get the, it's like building a skeleton, basically. I'm just getting the basics down. And then you start adding in the complex shit later. There you go. 
And by the way, I'm working on a kit. I feel like this is a good time to announce that, but I'm working on a kit. It's called the Dream Kit. I'm gonna be using some 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 kicks and snares and hi hats from that just to show you guys. But uh, I, I'm definitely dropping a kit um, in the next couple weeks. Um, so stay tuned for that. I mean, at this point, I'm kind of I'm kind of improvising, and, and like that's another thing I would recommend. Like, kind of just gotta go with the vibe of it. You just kind of you know. particular direction or anything like, I haven't figured out if it's gonna be like a Migos or a Drake type beat right now I'm just I'm just going off the energy you know I feel like that's how you get the most natural beats out of you like after a while I'm doing beats you just kind of figure out or just a lot of listening to a lot of trap beats and shit you kind of know like certain things you hear in trap beats like little snare rolls shit like that so like I said I'm just kind of improvising let's add in some 808s Like I said, I'm a very melodic guy. Um, I don't know if you guys heard of uh, synesthesia, but uh, that's something I have. Like I associate colors with sounds, so that's how I could figure out the key is this. I think this is in um, F sharp minor. And it's just something like, you know, I play a lot of different instruments. If you don't know, I play guitar. That's what I started out with. So, I mean, learning an instrument when it comes to producing like helps a lot. Or if you just know basic music theory, like that shit, like it just makes your life a lot easier as a producer. So I'm just trying to figure out, make sure the, uh, the 808s are in tune, which I guess would be another like, just make sure your 808s are in tune. I said um, I'm gonna be making a kit with all these snares and sounds so all these kicks and snares uh, I'm gonna tune them out and everything the way that I do it and uh, like I said I'm building a kit called the dream kit it's coming soon real soon I'm just kind of kind of winging it just kind of going off the energy the more like the more you make beats the more you just Another thing I like doing is adding a lot of variation, kind of like switching up so it does, don't, they ain't like a bunch of loops, you know? Um, I'm thinking about doing private lessons for people, so if you want to learn more specifics and stuff, because I'm just doing basic shit right now, but if you're really trying to learn, like, especially if you're a Pro Tools user, I'm, I'm here to help. So I'm thinking about doing lessons, private lessons soon. So if you're interested in that, definitely uh, hit me up. I'm trying to, I hear like some like Volt, you know, the Vox samples and uh, I'm about to use one for my kit. Um, once you guys can see, I only got a few things in my kit right now, but I'm definitely adding to this. Um, I have a lot of different stuff, a lot of different snares from a lot of different beats, and like hi-hats, kicks, sample chops, all kinds of stuff. Um, that I'm gonna be adding to this kit. But uh, let me use a couple things just to show you guys. I want to do sample chops. Let's see. Drag it into Pro Tools. It's a lot of experimenting, really. But then uh, I'm gonna add a different snare, and really, I mean, you could just go on forever, keep adding shit, but at some point, you gotta learn when to stop, you know? <laughs> if you guys really get what I'm doing, I'm just like, now that I have a skeleton, kind of like a, a basic laid out, it's just from there, it's just building, which I guess would be the next step. Um, just, just to build off of that and kind of, you know, add in different stuff like i mean you don't want to sound like everybody else or at least i don't so i try to try to you know this is where i try to be original try to find some you know stuff 
Right now I'm using Massive, by the way. It's one of the plugins I have. Like, get a bunch of plugins. That's another thing. Get a lot of plugins. Like, a lot of different sounds. <laughs> Yeah, stay tuned because more is on the way.